Nathan, thanks to one of our viewers, James W., we have some spy shots, and I'm not quite sure what this is. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, Andre, and okay. there are a couple clues here. And of course, we want you guys to clue in as well. Now, James, when he sent it in, thought this was the Dodge Durango, like yes. an update, which it's not. Um, there are a couple dead giveaways for that, but we'll get to that in a second. What I do want to show you guys is that this photo takes place in Ohio. Yes, which is could be key to this, or yes. it, it is key. But here's what I want to point out first. Uh, you saw it here first. Indeed. I'm pretty sure that this particular prototype, and this is thanks to James and people like James yes. who send us images. Um, I'm really excited. You think it may be a Honda? I think pilot. it's the Honda Pilot. Honda Pilot. Yeah. So let's dig in. How about we, we have many images and also a video clip. Mm -hmm. So let's show all of that starting with this. All right. Now, there's not a lot to give it away from this angle. However, there are a couple things to keep in mind. First of all, if you can look right here, you can see that there's a screen popping up on the inside of the vehicle. Yep. Now, there's all, the, all the indications for the 2023-2024 Honda Pilot is that the interior will get a significant update. And, and that's not what it looks like now. That's correct, yes. yeah. Um, it doesn't look anything like the Pilot, at least on the inside from that one angle. But the roof, and we'll get another view of this, is almost identical to the current Honda Pilot. Now, what about the Acura MDX? People have been asking about mm -hmm. that. That is a different roof line. It actually does swoop much further down. And sleeker, and, right? And it's a much sleeker design, even though they do share components. Now, I believe that this is the Honda Pilot. This is a really good shot of it. And with these road-going wheels and tires, this overall setup, and if you look at the overall design from the outside, really does look a lot like a Pilot. And this, and this appears to be a big vehicle, like physically big. Mm -hmm. So it's not like something compact or midsize. Right. I mean, this is a you know, proper three row on a bigger side of things. And do you think that Honda will stretch their Pilot a little bit uh, to make it larger? You know, initially I thought that. I really did. But all indications kind of point to Honda currently playing their cards very close to their chest. They're going to keep this vehicle as stock as they can both with its wheelbase powertrain running gear all of that stuff now a couple big clues back here first of all ohio plates yes. honda's r d facilities are located in ohio in fact acura and honda are one of the few vehicles that run around with test vehicles that have ohio plates so pretty much of a dead giveaway in terms of it being a honda product second i'm pretty sure that this is housing the V6 that they've been using currently, which is a 3.5 liter Earth Dreams, mm -hmm. currently puts out 280 horsepower hooked up to a nine speed automatic transmission. Now, the reason why I think it is the V6 is these, this is dual exhaust. Right. You can clearly see that it has that. And Honda, even though I expected them to use a hybrid system, I believe that this is not the hybrid, not yet. Um, that's the big question, right? That that's, is. That's the big, because everybody says, you know, are they going electric? Are they going right. hybrid? Et cetera, et cetera. This still, like, still looks like a proper, I mean, traditional V6. Traditional V6 with actual real exhaust ports, by the way, which I do thank Honda for. So what we're looking at is a vehicle that has a significantly updated exterior design, which we were expecting, and a really, really beefed up interior design. Can you go to the side views? I want to show something else too, which is... Yeah, let me... There were some rumors that this would be a PHEV, uh, which would make sense, but I don't think they're quite ready for that yet. Um, plug-in hybrids like this usually have a secondary port for a plug-in. And if you look at this view here, at first I thought that might be a port. Sorry, Nathan. Andre, you're no, driving no. crazy. There we go. So if you look over here, that's not a port. That is clearly just a little Some bulge cladding. there, right? Yeah. This is where the fuel door is, mm -hmm. right? So that is a proper little opening in the uh, thing. So can we flip to the other side? Are you able to get to a different view? Well, I have the rear. Well, um, and you can clearly there's see, not much happening right, here. Right, exactly. Um, and so the bottom line, I believe, is that Honda's keeping things mellow for now. They're about to introduce a bunch of electric vehicles and plug-in vehicles, but I don't believe that the new Passport is. Or oh, the Passport. Passport, I said. 
the new pilot is. Yeah. But I wanted to point out the passport in a second. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get yeah. to that. I, I think I know where you're going. Yeah. Uh, but here I also wanted to show, first of all, the wheel design appears to be Honda-esque. Yeah, also, so that those look like 18s, it. don't they? Yeah, and kind of not very aggressive tire, kind of an old season. Mm -hmm. You can also see almost a little bit of a tuning knob, maybe a volume knob or something like that mm -hmm. on the little screen um, that's in the center. So the interior appears to be uh, updated. Which is what we were expecting. So that, and, and Honda did announce that they were going to be doing some huge updates, larger screens, better infotainment systems, all of that which was coming to the uh, Pilot, which is really one of their older vehicles if you look at the fleet. Now, big question. Mm. Recently I went on the Honda Passport event, yes. right? And do you remember what that was? What type of vehicle? Weren't you in the Borrego Desert I was. or something? Right. Trail Sport, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Honda executives, and I spoke to them directly, were considering taking the Trail Sport name and attaching it to other vehicles, making them slightly more off-roady. Now, obviously, this is not it. However, this, the Pilot, is a candidate for that, which means possibly a beefed-up suspension, more off-road capable tires and wheels, well, wheels, whatever, but tires, and possibly underside armor. Remember that the Pilot and the Passport are related. They have almost identical running gear. The real difference is in terms of overall length and interior packaging, exterior design. So... What we're looking at here is an upgrade, and possibly, in the near future, we're going to have a vehicle that has more off-road capability. Um, it's, it, I'm curious to see this. I know that guys, you know, oh, it's a pilot, what's the big deal? Well, they sold a lot of them. A lot of them! Very, and, very popular. And it's a really popular vehicle. And there's Honda. another point to support what you're saying with mm. Trail Sport, right. uh, a little bit more off-roady. Just look at the competition. I was just in New York um, at the New York Auto Show, right? Right, right. Nissan announced the updated Rock Creek edition right. of the Pathfinder, which is another three-row, which is, competes directly, directly with against this. the Pilot. Right. And that was a little bit higher, aggressive tires. Actually, and it looked like it was yeah, actually, actually capable. Actually, it was done you know, very mm. in the proper way. There is, a, uh, of course, Subaru is doing a lot here, you know, with their wilderness models. Which they haven't done yet with their... Uh, big, the biggest one. Right, but they, I suspect that they will because it's going to sell well. But also Kia and Hyundai, they, well, especially Kia. Yes. Yes. With their Telluride and uh, also in New York City um, at the auto show, you know, the show, their latest kind of off-roady X version Which as well. showed a little bit more off-road capability. Yeah, so this would make a lot of sense, too. Exactly. And yeah. I think that's exactly the direction they're going to go. And you guys have been asking for it, too. People People want a little bit more of an aggressive feeling vehicle, I suppose. So this is the update. This is something that um, we're looking forward to. I yeah. have a feeling that it is a 2023 model. And if it is, uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of this, probably a debut within the next few months. There is no, um, I'm sorry, I just wanted yeah. to look, and there's no, no, door there. uh, no doors for fueling or, or yeah. charging there. Yeah, I suspect that it is the V6, and I don't think it's a hybrid at all. And by the way, thank you, James, again. Uh, we're going to mention you several times. Uh, you really, you know. James, you rock. I mean, I think we're one of the first, if not the first, to see this prototype up close like this. Exactly, so. which is why you got to see it first. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, as always, go to alttfl.com for everything automotive. It's kind of a one-stop shop, right? That's right. Because we have eight channels, four websites, two podcasts, TikToks. We have way too much. It's, it's all in one place, <laughs> alttfl.com. So thank you, guys. Thanks, guys.